Welcome back to this wine yeah. dining yeah. session. So today we're going to have our bolsters available and our blocks if you want to take a block, you're welcome to take a block as well. Um, we're going to keep this super simple, we're just going to be staying on the ground today, we're going to do some nice hip opening work and we're also going to do some work just opening up the back and into the shoulders. So kind of a little bit of joint mobility, a little bit of opening up today really. So we're going to start off taking the legs out in front of us. Nice and easy, sitting up tall. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, release out. Okay, so from here we're going to point through the toes and then just draw the toes up. If you want to support the back, you're welcome to do that today. Inhaling, exhaling, just opening up through the toes. Exhaling, releasing the toes. Inhaling, drawing the toes up. Exhaling, releasing the toes. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping the toes facing up to the sky now, we're just going to gently roll through the ankles, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. And then switch direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Three. Two. One and release. Taking the left leg in, just supporting the right leg, and we're going to take the hands behind the thigh of the, of the right side. So back is up nice and tall, and all we're going to do is just extend the leg out and back down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Good. See if you straighten out that leg a little bit more each time. Last one. And release. And then we do the same in the other side. So just relax that right leg down and take the left leg up. Back is nice and tall, chest is lifted. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good. Just keep pressing through. Now just if you want to increase that stretch, you can flex the foot, which will just work into the hamstring a little bit more. But if you find that's a bit too much, just keep the toes pointed. So whatever feels best here. Good. Three, two, one and release. Good. Okay, from here, take the feet in. Now you can cross the legs for me. Okay, so just taking it here for me. We're going to just back up nice and tall, chest is lifted. And then we're going to take this right leg. So just taking this right leg in towards us. And we're going to grab hold of the foot and grab hold of the knee. And we're just going to gently move forwards and back. Now for those of you who are a little bit more bendy and you want to bring the foot in a little bit closer, you can. So you kind of sort of rock the baby, okay? But wherever you are, maybe it's here, maybe it's here, or maybe it's even just drawing it right in. Whatever feels good for you today. Now opening up here, inhaling, exhaling, and then release. And then we'll switch the legs over. So we'll take that right foot and then taking the hand around the back of the left leg, sorry, the left leg, and then we're going to just rock it through. So just opening okay, here, lovely, good. Back is nice and tall, chest is lifted. And again, if you're maybe a little bit more bendier, you want to bring it in a little bit closer, finding that nice little rock the baby, hold it here, good. And release, well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to cross those legs over, take the hands in front of us, and roll it over onto our knees, or whatever way feels comfortable coming up onto the knees, okay? So, just coming into all fours, and we're just going to spread those fingertips. Now quite often we sort of ignore the hands and the feet. So what we're going to do is just open up the hands and feet by tucking the toes under and taking the hands in front and just gently moving forward. Inhale. And then as you sit back, exhale. Now you can sit back as far as you feel comfortable. So you may be able to get all the way to your heels. Some people, if you've got like, uh, issues with knee mobility, obviously just come back as far as your knees will allow. Inhaling and exhaling as you sink back. Inhale, draw the body forward. Exhale, sink it back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And release back to centre. Staying in all fours now, we're going to open up these hips a little bit deeper. So you're going to draw the right knee back and just take your little circles. Now, depending on where our hips are, you may be a little bit lower in those little hip circles, or you may be a bit higher. 
Some people can really sort of draw them out. I don't want this to really be too much of a strain. So it's really just warming up into the hips. Three, two, one. And then we switch direction, opening up the other way. Inhaling and exhaling. Two, well done. So really drawing that knee up and over, finding a little bit more of a circle and switch sides. Just give it a little shake, readjust. And we'll switch to the other leg. So make sure we're using these tummy muscles as well just to put in. So we're going to reach back and around. So you can really feel that working into the bottom, pushing up and around, creating little circles into the hip. Good. For four, three, deep breathing, two, one, and then switch direction the other way. One, two, three, four, and release. Take the knees out to the side, feet together. Take an extended child's pose. This is our first extended child's pose. You can take your block, placing it in front of you. And we're taking a more restorative version today, so I don't need you to get your head all the way down to the ground. So from here, we're going to take the head down to the block, forehead to the, the block, arms in front, and just taking a little bit of that pressure out the back of the neck. And we're not really trying to fully extend the spine down into the floor, okay, so flexing the spine. We're just really looking for a little bit more length in the spine, relaxing the head to the block, softening the bottom to the heels. Now here, just take a couple of breaths here, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Okay, this time we're going to use the nose, just inhaling and exhaling out through the nose. So take a deep inhale, broaden the ribs, broaden the chest, lovely, and then exhale, soften down. So relax those shoulders a little bit, maybe give them a little wiggle, soften the elbows. Inhale. Start to draw that breath down towards the tummy, and then exhale. Good. Staying where you are. We're going to take from here the block away, and then we're just going to slowly move the body back up. Okay, so we're going to scoot round now onto our bottom. And we're going to take the legs out in front of us. So stay facing up the mat for me, but for the purpose of being able to see what I'm doing, and then just switch around. So you're going to take your hands behind you this time, and we're just going to windscreen wipe the knees. So just opening up through the knees, good. breathing in and exhaling out, good. all the way through. Give that bottom a little massage, good, keep it going. You might find kind of the sun moving up and down your mat a little bit, so just if you need to adjust that, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to take two options. We have modified pigeon, which is what we've done before, and you're going to drop the knees over to the side. As you do so, you're going to bring the body up. Make sure you have a block to hand, and we're going to take that block out in front of us. So then from this position, we're going to take this left leg back, so we've got this nice little square going on, okay? And we just bring the right leg up. So bringing this leg back. So if it's here, we just bring the knee back behind us. That's it, perfect. And we're aiming to come over the shin, okay? So we'll take the block in front of us and we're going to just walk the hands down and then maybe you're taking your head to the block. Now, if that's too far forward and this is enough, just stay here for me, okay? Just find what feels right. So make sure we're coming over the shin rather than over the knee. So if you want to kind of, if you find you're naturally moving across the knee, walk yourself over so that you're in front of the shin instead. That's it, brilliant. Maybe bring the knee up a little bit further up towards you. So, yeah. So we just bring that knee a little bit further this way, coming up. There you go. Yeah, perfect. And then we can walk our way over and relax. So some modifications that we can add to this, either staying in this position here, okay? And some of you may be able to come down onto your forearms and then release the forehead to the block. And if you're looking for maybe a slightly deeper stretch, you're welcome to take the hands in front of you and release your head to the hands. So just finding this kind of stretch, whatever that may be, um, in terms of the depth, but you should be feeling that into your bottom a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so nice, deep inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly come to rise. Walk yourself up. And then we're going to bring the knees back up. And we're going to do the same again. So just realign yourself, give yourself a little wiggle. And then we're just going to come side to side again, just windscreen wiper in those legs. Okay, so nice, deep inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling, good. Keep moving through. If you need to readjust yourself, you start moving forwards and backwards down the mat, then please just readjust. And then coming back up to centre, and now we're going to the opposite side. So for me, this is the left side. Coming all the way over, back is nice and tall. So just scooting the knees all the way over to one side, good. Bring you, make sure this knee is kind of in line with the hip here. So it's sitting outward, that's it. And then we're going to take this right leg behind us. So we're going to take that right leg back. So drawing the knee back even more, okay. So we're creating this nice little square. And if you need to, just bringing that front foot forward. And then the same again, we're going to use our block. And place that in front of us. Maybe it's on a higher point if that feels more comfortable for you. Okay, so nice, deep inhale. And if you have any sort of restriction in the mobility of finding it kind of more lifted, that's fine. Just work with what wants to happen. So we're going to just gently walk the hands forward. Maybe you're going to take your head to the block. Maybe you won't. That doesn't matter too much, okay? We're really just finding that stretch in the back of the leg. So again, wherever you are, you can use your block, you can stay upright, or maybe bring it down a little bit lower. Exhaling, inhaling, exhale, inhale. So really start to focus in on the breath. Imagine you're inhaling into the hip, and you're opening up the hip joint, and you're creating all this space, and you're turning the muscles just to relax. So as you exhale, you soften those muscles down, so you just release down the muscles. Inhale. And again, you should be feeling this in your glutes, but sometimes it can feel like it's coming to the back of the leg a little bit, and that's fine as well. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly come back up. Coming up to seat it. Roll up. Good. Okay, so we're going to come back around to the front of our mat. Okay, I'm just going to move my whole side away. And we're going to come to the bottom of this mat now for me. So, staying in all fours again, we're going to bring the body forward, so you're going to be taking the weight on top of the wrist for me, okay? So you're kind of leaning forward slightly like um, a half press up, and then you're going to just sink the hips down. Now you can bend the elbows and sink the hips down, whichever way feels comfortable for you. Good, inhaling, and just lift the chest up nice and high. Now if you do struggle with getting into that position, you can come down to the floor first, hands by the chest, and then you're going to roll the shoulders back and inhale up into your cobra. So hands by the chest, bringing the hands right back by the chest. Hands alongside the chest, bring them back even further. And then inhale, lift up. So pressing up. And then exhale, release all the way down. So we're going to practice that again. So Make sure your hands are alongside the chest here and not too far forward, okay? So bring your hands right back. So elbows will be at the sort of 45 degrees to 90 degrees to the mat, okay? So bring the hands back even further, a little bit further back, that's it. Inhale, roll the shoulders down the back, lift the chest up, inhaling, good, and then exhale, release back down. So those of you who have a little bit less flexion in the back, don't worry, even if you're coming up halfway with this kind of movement here, and you can feel the back muscles engaging, that's great. Exhale, release. So wherever you are, whether you're in mini cobra or full cobra, I want you to now push back up into your knees. So taking your knees down, rounding into the knees, good. Inhaling, exhale. Healing. Good. So we're going to take cat cow from here. So grounding down, rolling the back out, chin into chest. And then inhale, draw the chest forward, lifting the head up. And really think about pulling the shoulder blades down the back. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Exhale, roll the back out, chin into chest. So we're drawing the tummy muscles up, opening up the upper back. And then we're inhaling, drawing the chest forward. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. So keep the arms long. 
Make sure we're sinking the tummy rather than the hips, so we're not sinking the hips forward. So we keep the bottom high there, and we're just sinking the tummy down, lifting the chest forward. Okay, so as we sink down into the tummy, lift the chest forward, keep the bottom raised, keep the bottom raised. So keep it up here, and then exhale, roll it up. So just taking a gaze across to me, if you're struggling with that cow, uh, you're sinking the middle of the body down, keeping the bottom where it is, then move the bottom forward, lift the chest up. Good, that's better. Exhale, roll it up, a little bit more difficult, right? <laughs> okay, inhale, sink the tummy down. We're, although we're engaging the tummy, we're sinking that tummy down, we're drawing the shoulder blades back, so we're arching the back, Keeping the bum where it is, exhaling, roll it up. Come to centre, and then we're going to sink the hips side to side. So gently release the hips to one side, and then sink to the other side. Now, quite often this can feel quite tight across the hip joint here, so just take it really gently moving through, sinking into one side, exhaling. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale. And then inhale back to centre. Now see if you can with this one. As you exhale, we need to hold it here for one breath. So you're going to take a deep inhale. You can look over your left shoulder, inhaling. And now exhale, bring it back up. Let's release the other side. Look over your right shoulder. So take a deep inhale. Exhale back to centre. Slowly just roll back into the heels and just come to seat, so taking the weight out of the wrist. Okay, so take the arms out in front, we're gonna shake this wrist out. <laughs> so we're just gonna take the hands in front, little fists, and we're just gonna open up those wrists, because it feels, sometimes it can really feel like I'm just all of my hands, so we're just gonna open those wrists up, and switch direction. Inhaling and exhaling. And then take the hands out nice and long, sweep them up, so it's just working through the wrist, so keep the arms long, extended, that's it. Exhale, release, inhale, exhale, inhale. And always think about our posture. So even though we're sitting here, keep the back up nice and tall rather than kind of slumping down into it. So keep the body tall. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And finally, you're going to take the backs of the hands together like this. And it's just a nice little stretch, just opens everything out. So if you're ever getting really tight in those wrists, this is quite a nice little stretch just to take. Inhaling, exhaling. Okay, just shake it off. So moving into the shoulders, we're going to open the shoulders up now. So drawing the elbows together, reach the elbows up to the sky. Inhaling, and exhaling, releasing the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, so opening mobility tends to be a little bit different than this one, so find what feels good for you, opening up, exhaling, and switch direction, inhale, all the way up to the sky, exhale, release, inhale, exhale, release, inhale, exhale, release, last time, inhale, exhale, now take the arm out in front, and take them to the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time, exhale, and shake it off. Good, well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to come up onto our feet. So we're going to just open up the hips a little bit further. You're going to take the right foot to the front of the mat here, just keeping the left knee down, okay? Now, if you need extra stability, you can tuck the toes under. Any issues with knees, you can put a little blanket underneath the knee if you wish to. Looking ahead, you're going to take the hands to the knees, and we're going to gently release forward into the hip. Now, keep the heel pressed down, lovely. Exhale. Inhale, draw the body forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, now come to centre, put the hands down to the ground, we're going to scoot that foot underneath, okay, so we're going to open up the hips a little bit more, reach the body back up, okay, and we're going to open again, so inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale. This inhale, hold. So just hold it here, back is tall, chest is lifted, tummy pulled in, exhale, release, unravel that foot, find your middle stretch, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, big, big stretch, inhale, opening up, and now take the elbows out for cactus, opening the chest, so feeling this lovely stretch in the chest, inhale, exhale, reach your arms up, inhale, open, Exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. Good. Take the hands back down to the ground. Step the right foot back and step the left foot forward. Okay, so just grounding back down. If you want to, you've always got your blocks of hand. So you can you have your blocks of hand just to support you here as you come forward into that position. Look straight ahead, sweep the arms up to a pin, inhale. Exhale, hands to the knees. So same again on this side, nice deep inhale. Make sure we're at 90 degrees in the foot. So if you find you kind of sink over a little bit, just keep it nice and high. So inhaling as we draw forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, so really opening up this hip flexors. So the reason we're opening up these hip flexors, as well as opening up into the hip joint, is to release any tightness that moves that lower back. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to your blocks onto the floor. Just readjust your leg behind you. Okay, so take that leg behind. Good. And then reaching the body back up. Okay. From here, back is nice and tall. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Well done. Last one, so this time inhaling, draw the body forward, hold. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale, release. Good, bring it back up. Unravel, take the foot back to its neutral position, look ahead, sweep the arms up tall, inhale, open, out, 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 side for cactus, exhale, reach it tall. Inhale, open, and as we open, we're lifting the chest up tall. Exhale, inhale, opening up the body. Exhale, well done. Inhale, exhale, last time, release it, the hands down to the floor. And then again, step that left leg back. Good, and move your blocks over to the side. So we're going to ground down into the hands now. We're just going to take one little down dog just to open up the back and the body. So we're going to tuck the toes in, going to roll up into the toes, pushing the bottom up to the sky. So we're just find a gentle down dog. Now walk that, the feet in a little bit closer, but we're just to make things feel a little bit more comfortable. Spread the fingertips nice and wide to give you lots of um, contact with your back. Shake the head off for me, and you can pedal out the backs of those feet. So you can just walk through the backs of the feet, just finding a bit of movement into the heels and the calves. Inhaling, exhaling, and then the knees come down to the knees again. Take the knees out to the side this time for extended child's pose, sinking into the heels. And again, we can take that more modified version, and you can take the uh, block in front of you, releasing the forehead to the block. And just take a moment here to breathe. Inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Inhale. And then with that exhale, just allow the shoulders to relax, the back to relax, and the tummy to relax. So we're going to take four breaths here, inhaling deeply. Inhale. Exhale. And if you need to sit back into the heels a bit more, if you feel you can move back into the heels a little bit more, by all means do. Inhale, opening up the middle back and the tummy. Exhaling, softening the shoulders even more. Inhaling all the way down into the pelvis, into the lower back. Take the block away for me. So moving your blocks out of the way, 
we're going to walk ourselves around, okay? So we're going to walk the hands across the body. So we find this nice stretch coming through the side body. You're going to feel this pulling up through the side of the body here and the hip, release the head. Inhale. And then exhale, walk the hands around to the other side. Good, all the way through. Exhale, softening down. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands back round to the front of the mat. Come back up onto all fours and we're going to scoot round onto your back now. Okay. So you're going to have your block, blocks of hands, okay? And you just need the one block, okay? And we're going to roll ourselves down onto our back. So we're coming all the way down into the back. And we're just going to take a couple of um, moves to open up this lower back. So we take the feet to the edges of your mat. So you need to make sure you're quite central for this on your, your mat. Okay, and you're going to relax the head down, good. Okay, so with the knees, uh, feet to the edges, you're going to allow the knees to just sink over to the left side of your mat. So just sinking down, good. And then you're going to wiggle your right leg back a little bit so that the knee becomes in line with the hip, the hip is then in line with the shoulder. And then you're going to take the right arm behind you, so extend the right arm behind you. Just have a little gaze down towards the knee. If you think it's a little bit too far in, just walk it out a little bit more. Walk your foot back a bit more. So this back leg here. That's it. There you go. And hold it here. So just hold there for me. Deep in it. Exhale. Holding. Exhale. So we're allowing the hip to soften and release. Softening down into the knee and into the ankle. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, slowly release the arm back down. Unravel the legs, bring the legs back in. Maybe just give it a little side to side shake just to realign yourself. Take the feet to the edges of the mat again. And we'll do the same on the other side. So sweep the knees over to the other side. Okay, and then we're going to wiggle that left leg back this time. So the knee wants to be in line with the hip. You're going to feel quite a stretch coming down the hip bone and down the hip of the hip flexor. Okay, take the left arm all the way behind you. Lovely, yeah, perfect. Inhale. Exhale, softening into the hip. Inhale. And as you breathe out, imagine softening the muscle. So relax the muscle. Go and just relax. Breathe it out. Soften down. Hold it there. And from here, inhale, draw the knees back up. Take the feet back to the centre. Just give yourself a little wiggle. And now we're going to grab hold of the block. So we're going to ground down into the, the floor like we would do a bridge. Pressing into the heels, I'm going to lift the bottom up, okay, just so you can scoot that block underneath you. Okay, so it's going to go under the lower back, so it's going actually uh, down into the sacrum, so it's kind of just above the bottom, near enough down the bottom of the lower back, and you should feel really supported in this position. And that is all we're going to do here, so it's just a supported arm um, stretch, relax the palms out to the side. You can take them right out to the side for a really nice little chest stretch as well here, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale. So you'll notice that with that support, it actually takes the weight out of your tummy, so you feel like the tummy can then relax. We also if you get that digestive issues and as well as doing lots of twists and that type of thing that we do in yoga to open it up, it can also just help to settle that tummy a little bit. It just allows it to take the weight out of the tummy and then allows the weight to come out the lower back as well. If you need to adjust your block in any way, you're welcome to do so. Taking two more breaths here, inhale. Ground down into the heels, pushing up, lifting the bottom off the floor, and take that block away. Okay, from here, I want you just to roll onto your right hand side, pushing up with the left hand. Good. So coming up to seated, 
And we're going to take these bolsters, and you're going to take them lengthways. So we've done this before. Now, if you find you like to have a bit of support under the head, you can take your bolster and just place it at the end of the bolster. If you feel quite comfortable opening up through the throat, then you can take the bolster uh, the proper way. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit on the end of the bolster. Um, there are other poses which we do where we don't sit on this bolster, but because we're looking to open up the chest today, so we've opened up the back and the hips, we're going to now finish off opening up the chest. We're going to get you to sit on the end. So sit on the end of the bolster. Okay, just get yourself nice and comfy. Find what feels comfortable. And it's near enough right at the edge, so almost like your coccyx is sitting on it rather than anything else. Okay, so you're going to take your hands to the floor and slowly lower yourself down through the bolster, it's pretty much running along the spine of course, and then make sure that the shoulder blades are outside of this as well, so they're not getting tucked under, and then release the head down. You can, you can adjust your block, you might find you can move the block a bit further up, or as I say, you can also take more of an open pose with the neck opening up the throat, so whatever feels good here. So we take the arms out to the side, it should feel a really good stretch coming into the chest, also down into the arms and the shoulders. If your shoulders get particularly tight or you sit at a computer all day, anything like that, this is quite a nice stretch for that. Just opening up into the shoulders. So opening up, deep inhale. This is where we can truly slow that breath down, broadening through the shoulders, relaxing the elbows a little bit as well here. Sensations of the fingertips, perhaps, maybe all the way down to the toes. And on the next inhale, we're going to draw the body over. So we're going to take the elbow to the floor again, and you can just roll off the bolster for me here, coming up to a seated position. Good. And now finally, we're just going to take our bolster, take our block, place the block underneath the bolster this time, and we're going to give our bolster a nice little hug. Okay, so the feet together. <laughs> so when you're ready, we're going to take that bolster in front of us, and we've got the block underneath. If you want a little bit higher, feel a little bit taller, then you by all means can do that as well. Okay, and then from there, we're going to give it a hug. So we're just going to bring the body down, and I would say I prefer to be lying to the side of myself, so maybe releasing the head to the side and relaxing the head down and just finding this comfortable pose here. So just really comfortable, restorative, child's pose here, relaxing the shoulders, weight is off the arms pretty much, and completely releasing down. Inhale. own time. We're going to slowly roll back up to seated. Take the bolster away from me, move your blocks out of the way and just come to seated position now with your legs crossed. So we're just going to take our hands to heart centre. Well done. Crossing the legs, back is up nice until the chest is lifted, closing off the eyes, roll the shoulders down the back. And we take uh, Om Shanti Shanti. And we're just going to chant that now. So inhaling. Om.
रहा है अपने साथ की तरह से बैठ रहा है